So here we have one of my old t-shirts. Uh, it's about ready for the bin now, unfortunately, but I really like this design and I thought it'd make a great project to try and recreate this in Inkscape. Uh, especially like the, the minimalist approach where there's like there's bits of the image missing um, across the roof there but uh, because we're familiar with the shape our eyes kind of fill in the blanks so that's pretty cool now I've already tried to do this uh, in a previous video and I used a sketch and um, uh, varied line weight in, in Inkscape but it didn't quite work so after about four hours of filming and editing uh, it all went in the bin and it's just ended up as a few seconds of b-roll in this video but anyway that's life uh, we move on clearly this has been used uh, sort of based on a, a, a photograph so I need to find a suitable photograph I can use for this project one of the easiest ways to get a photograph is to use a model car and then we can control exactly the shot we want which is something like that so I'm just going to have a play around with the lighting, uh, get the shadow looking right, and we'll get it over into Inkscape. So now we've got our photograph, we're going to import it into Inkscape. Uh, go up to File and Import, and then navigate to the image you want to use, and open it. We're just OK on that. If we just quickly look back at the t-shirt design, you'll see that the shadow, the tyres and the wheel wells are all one big block of solid colour. Uh, so I think that's a good place to start with the pen tool and um, we'll trace over this image. So here we go, making my first pass with the Bezier pen tool. Uh, I'm just doing straight edges at this point. I don't want to put too much detail into it. It's just a a quick pass to cover the volume and get, get the, the area covered as quickly as possible. Uh, if you spend too much time putting detail in and you make a mistake or change your mind, um, that's, that's time wasted. You could have done something else with the drawing. So uh, I'm happy with that block. So I've just gone back in there and I'm making adjustments to the curves and edges. And I've lowered the transparency there so I can see the uh, image below. And I'm trying to avoid putting too much detail into it because it is supposed to be a minimalist image, but uh, I do like to do technical and detailed illustrations, so uh, it's quite difficult for me to resist the temptation. From here on in, it's just a case of using the same technique and blocking in that shadow area. Um, now, to create the negative spaces, uh, you'll see me creating little templates um, and then using path difference to cut them out of the, uh, the shadow area. I didn't actually show you the window, the window is quite complicated, um, but basically I, I traced the inside of the window as a solid object and then reduced the transparency and then just traced over the, in the next inner section and then used path difference to punch out the, uh, the silhouette. The same way I'm doing the, with the wheels right now. Very easy to do. They just spotted a few bits I missed on the first pass. I'm just adding a few bits in to break up that uh, that block of body there, just to show that there is a, a skirt in, in there. And again, just adding a bit of detail on, onto the body. The problem, the, the the Porsche is a really familiar shape, and um, on this Nardo Coupe. Uh, is not not as well known, so I, I felt justified in just adding a few little body contours just to help out the image a little bit. Now I was looking at the wheels here and thinking that the uh, the Porsche actually has an extra rim on it, like a deep dish rim which uh, the VW doesn't, and I just felt it was lacking something, so um, I'm just about to uh, do a little trick here, which involves 
duplicating that whole section and deleting the nodes we don't want because all I want is that inner disk, the negative space and as you delete everything around it, it'll, it'll pop back to positive so there I've got a, an exact copy of the negative space I'm just increasing the size doing it this way, it's exact um, by maintaining the proportions, it's the exact copy of the smaller one it just adds an extra edge to the rim and once again, just path difference uh, to knock it out. And I had to adjust the shadow there just because it, it was overlapping a little bit. Well, that just about wraps up this video. I'm at the stage where I want to fiddle with it and add things and take things away. And I've got to draw the line somewhere. So uh, I'm just uh, experimenting with a bit of colour here to see what the, the final image looks like. I'm really pleased with it. Um, I'm hoping it's turned out better than I, I thought it would, especially with it being a slightly unusual vehicle. Um, I hope you, you lot have got something from it and uh, you're able to use it in your own projects. Uh, and if you do, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to check out what you've been up to with my tutorials. If you've stayed with me this far, uh, please do consider giving me a like and, and maybe even uh, subscribing and uh, do check out my other videos. I hope you've uh, enjoyed it and I'll, I'll catch you in the next one.